Renal coloboma syndrome, also known as papillorenal syndrome, is a genetic condition that affects the development of the kidneys and eyes. Most cases are caused by changes in the Pax2 gene, which codes for a protein that acts as a transcription factor. Transcription factors like Pax2 help regulate the activity of other genes by acting as switches that turn genes on or off, called gene expression, as needed. The timing and coordination of gene expression is crucial in the early weeks of fetal development when all the organs begin to develop. Specifically, Pax2 orchestrates the development of the kidneys, urogenital system, eyes, and parts of the ear turning them into functional structures. Typically, inheritance of renal coloboma syndrome follows an autosomal dominant pattern, meaning only one copy of the mutated gene is needed to cause the condition. However, in about half of cases, there doesn't seem to be any mutation in the Pax2 gene, meaning there are likely other mechanisms involved. Clinically, individuals with renal coloboma syndrome tend to have small, underdeveloped kidneys that don't function fully, often resulting in kidney failure by early adulthood. The most common eye manifestation is a coloboma of the optic disc, a birth defect where the optic disc, or the point where the optic nerve exits the eye, appears larger and hollowed because it didn't develop as usual. Depending on the extent of the coloboma, individuals may experience vision loss or blind spots. This is especially true when coloboma affects the macula, which is the part of the eye responsible for the sharp, central vision needed for activities like reading or driving. Other, less common features might include hearing loss, urinary tract anomalies, such as vesicoureteral reflux and skeletal defects, such as a short stature, extra fingers or toes, and scoliosis. Diagnosis begins with a medical history and physical exam focusing on kidney and eye abnormalities. Initial workup may involve an ultrasound to detect kidney anomalies, as well as an eye evaluation to rule out vision problems. In those where the condition is caused by a Pax2 mutation, diagnosis can be confirmed with genetic testing. For families with a known mutation, prenatal genetic testing or pre-implantation genetic diagnosis during in vitro fertilization can be used to prevent transmission to the offspring. In those without the gene mutation, renal coloboma syndrome may be diagnosed clinically. Now, as far as treatment goes, kidney disease is often the most serious issue affecting long-term health, with progression to end-stage renal failure being a common outcome. As a result, management focuses on slowing the progression of kidney disease with medications to lower blood pressure to protect the kidneys, as well as preparing for dialysis or kidney transplantation if renal failure develops. While there is no direct treatment for the coloboma itself, vision aids like glasses or contact lenses can improve vision, and regular eye exams can help detect complications like retinal detachment, glaucoma, or cataracts, which are more common in eyes with colobomas. All right, as a quick recap. Renal coloboma syndrome is a genetic condition that affects the development of the kidneys and eyes, and is typically caused by variants of the Pax2 gene. Diagnosis involves a combination of kidney imaging, eye exams, and genetic testing. Management focuses on regular kidney monitoring, blood pressure control, and supportive eye care, with prognosis largely depending on kidney function. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.